Hi guys, welcome to this edition of Fireflies Video Digest. Now as you've no doubt noticed, I've made a few changes for this week. They may not be quite as professional as you're used to, and that's because I'm using quite a low-tech setup. In fact, all I've got is a webcam and an IKEA rug. Now this week, I wanted to see in the new year by presenting five of my favorite battlefield communities to you. These are places where you can go on a daily or weekly basis to get your news, latest opinions, see what's happening within the Battlefield franchise, and also to get some useful applications as well. So without further ado, let's take a look at the first of the five, and that's Planet Battlefield. Planet Battlefield is what I like to call the Grand Dam of the Battlefield communities. It's been around since pretty much the beginning and has always had an excellent coverage of all the Battlefield series. One of the great things about this site as well is its coverage of the mod scene. Now, that's obviously not applicable to Battlefield 3, but it's still very applicable to the older Battlefields. So if you're looking for up-to-date news, great articles, some quirky little things you might not find elsewhere, and a site that's been around since the beginning and knows its stuff backwards, check out Planet Battlefield. Now if you were to take Slick, squeeze it, condense it, and then sprinkle it on a website, you'd probably end up with something very similar to my next pick, and that's battlefieldo.com. Now this is a fairly recent site, it's only been going for a little while, yet despite that they've managed to go on a quite a large number of followers. One of the best indications of this was what happened when they opened up their new forums. Several thousand posts in the first week alone. Well done guys. Now Battlefield All is run by a young, vibrant team and I suspect these guys have got a point to prove. They're there, they want to make sure their site stands out, has the latest news and a very active community. So if you want to check out a site which has a lot of great features and a lot of great news, plus like I mentioned a great community, make sure you check out battlefieldall.com. Now if you're a server administrator or have any kind of server administration responsibilities within your clan or community, you really should have heard of this next community. And that's Fog.net, the makers of Procon. Now Fog, whose real name is Jeff, built Procon originally to work with Frontlines. When Bad Company 2 came out, he changed it to work with that game and did the same with Medal of Honor. Finally, when BF3 came out, Dice took the almost unprecedented step of shipping Fog all the way from his native Australia up to Sweden for two whole weeks to be able to work with Dice on the Archon protocol for Battlefield 3. Now Procon is a fantastic tool for several reasons. One is that it can run on a remote layer, which allows several instances of the program to connect to it. Another one is because of its plugin architecture. That means that independent developers can build plugins for the program, which expands its features, which means Jeff doesn't have to do it himself. If you are a server administrator and you've never looked at this program, make sure you go and do that now. The website is fog.net and the program is Procom. Mordor, a name that strikes fear into every DICE employee and probably quite a lot of people that go to visit as well. In fact, this place used to be known as the cesspit of Battlefield until Battlelog was released and the forums there went rapidly downhill. Now, Mordor, otherwise known as the EA UK Forums, is a very old and established Battlefield community with a lot of very intelligent and very active members. As well as doing the Battlefield franchise, EA UK also have pretty much all their other games on the same forum, so if you do play other EA games, it is actually a great place to be. There's a lot of good discussion in there, and a lot of good members who make up some very valid points. On the flip side, there are of course the trolls, the idiots, the space cadets, and people that just enjoy winding other people up. Typical forum, really. If you want to know a lot of what's happening within Battlefield, and a lot of the views of the people that don't post on Battlelog, the best place to go to is the EA UK forum. It is a very busy place, it has a lot of people on there, and there are some very, very good discussions. If you want to add another new site and another discussion site to your list of places to visit, make sure that you check out the EA UK forums. 
Now this community is one which has saved me from having to watch Downtown Abbey every Sunday night with my wife. And this of course, Battlefield3Tournament.com. This is how Battlefield was meant to be played. Large sides, large maps, lots of action. The tournament is two sides of 32 versus 32, with several clans and individuals each side. So it means that you're not having to raise a huge army just to take part. You'll be working with a whole bunch of other people in a whole bunch of other clans. It's stretched over 10 weeks, that's every tour of duty, and at the end of it, either the Eagles or the Vipers are deemed the winners. They're a great set of people, and it's a great way to play the game. It takes it above the level of pub play and into competitiveness without being that ultra competitive that you tend to find in 4x4s or 8v8s in ESL, for example. So if you're looking for a great way to spend your Sunday evenings, a great competition and a fantastic way of enjoying the whole Battlefield experience, make sure that you and your clan check out battlefield3tournament.com. Thank you very much for watching this edition of the Digest. I really hope you've enjoyed it and I also hope that you go to visit some or all of the communities that I've mentioned. They really are fantastic places to be. If you've enjoyed the Digest, Please put your comments in the comments section and consider subscribing to my channel as well. That's it for this time. Thank you very much. Take care.